everyone so I hope you're all well um, today I'm going to do a current favorites video and it's some things that I've been loving for the last month or so so I'll just get started um, the first thing I've been loving is the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow Duo and it's called the Top Shelf. Um, this is what the packaging looks like and it's quite similar to the NARS packaging in terms of the velvety feel. I'll just show you inside. Um, it comes with a really nice sized mirror um, and it also comes with a sponge tip applicator. I'll just show you the eyeshadows. Um, so the first one is called Cognac and it's quite similar to the Urban Decay Half Baked Eyeshadow and it's also quite similar to the MAC Woodwinked Eyeshadow um, and then the lighter shade is actually called Mixologist and this one reminds me of MAC's uh, Naked Lunch Eyeshadow um, I'll actually do a swatch for you so you can see they're very creamy and very pigmented um, I've been loving them every day since I bought them. I'll just show you the colour. So there you go. Um, and I actually bought these from um, John Lewis and I think I paid around £19 for them, which is expensive, but they're definitely worth it and I would go back and purchase more. Um, the next uh, product that I've been loving is the MAC mineralized blush in warm sole um, it just comes in the standard MAC packaging but I'll show you the shade um, it's this really nice rosy kind of pink blush and it does have some gold shimmers um, running through it uh, hopefully you can tell um, I've been loving wearing this every single day as just an everyday blush um, it does have some shimmer but it's not too uh, large so though you can see it on your che um, on your cheeks it just gives this really nice glow as you can see I've really been loving this and I can't remember how much MAC blushes are nowadays I think they're around 16 pounds which is expensive but I would definitely um, check this out next time you're at a MAC counter um, the next product that I've been loving is an Inglot gel eyeliner and this is in number 77 uh, matte black and it just comes in this plastic pot I'll just show you the product um, I have actually made a smiley face in the product um, this is actually waterproof and smudge proof um, I didn't believe it at first until um, it was raining quite heavily here in London and I didn't have an umbrella at the time um, but then when I came home my eyeliner was still fine it hadn't smudged um, it wasn't like all the way down here or anything. Um, I absolutely love this. This is probably now my holy grail eyeliner. And I actually paid £10 for this. And it was, and you can find this from the Inglot store in Westfields. Uh, moving on, I have a few lip products. Um, so I've been loving the number no. 7 Perfect Lips pencils. Um, these are just two of them. I have one more, I think. Um, these are really, really, really nice and they're so pigmented and creamy. Um, this is actually my Holy Grail Nude lip liner and it's in number 20 nude. And they're all retractable, so they look like this. And this is just a really nice warm nude. If you're not into like concealer nude lip liners, then this would probably be um, ideal for you. And I'll just show you a swatch looks like that really really nice and then the next one I've been loving is in number 10 blush and this is just like a really nice rosy kind of pink and it looks like that and it's actually what I have underneath my lip gloss today I've been loving both of these um, these I think retail for around £8 but um, I always buy these with whenever Boots do the £5 off vouchers for number 7 so I, I buy these for like £3 and I love them. Um, the next lip product that I've been loving is actually um, a YSL lipstick and it's called Rouge Pure Couture in number 6. Um, I bought this last year but I kind of didn't like it at the beginning but now I've rediscovered it and I absolutely love it. 
Um, so as I said, this is what the packaging looks like. And the lipstick is just, again, this really nice warm nude lipstick. And I'll do a swatch for you. Uh, let's do it here. And it's really nice and glossy and creamy. And it is pigmented as well. I don't know if you're going to see, but it looks like that. Um, I, one thing I would say about this lipstick is that you have to be careful um, that you um, that you have to moisturize your lips before you apply this lipstick and also um, if you have any fine lines you just have to be aware of it that it, the lipstick will settle into fine lines but I absolutely love it so there it is again um, and on top of that I've been loving um, this Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials Buxom Lip Polish in Bunny. Now this is the shade. It's this really nice light pink um, colour and it does have like a like a peachy hint to it and it does have these really microfine shimmers. I have absolutely been loving this um, teamed with the YSL lipstick and also the nude lip liner. Now I'll do a swatch for you. Hopefully you can see. So this is what the lip gloss looks like. Really, really nice. Um, this is a plumping lips um, lip gloss. So if you don't like the tingling feeling that you get on your lips, then probably this is not for you. But I absolutely love this, and I would definitely go back and purchase more. Um, I actually bought this from John Lewis, and I think I paid around eighteen pounds. So yeah, love it. Um, the next item that I've been loving is the Gemma Kid Light as Air Liquid Foundation and this is what the packaging looks like. I actually have um, the shade number 5 medium beige and it is a tad tad dark for me um, but I love this um, mixed with Max Strobe Cream and this is just a sample that I got and I have been loving these two together. Um, I'll just go back to the Gemma Kilatis Air Foundation first. This is actually really nice. I would say this is light to medium coverage. Um, and if you like have any kind of blemishes, then I'll just use concealer. Um, this is great by itself, but also like mixing again, as I said, with creams and also with other foundations. I love it. I actually bought this from uh, feelunique.com and I think it was around £25. I know that it's stocked in space in K but I think only selective stores so I think if you're going to like see if they have it in space in K just call up beforehand to make sure um, but I love this um, and as I said I've been using it with the MAC strobe cream I think the full size strobe cream is around 20 something pounds um, I'll definitely purchase um, this once the sample is finished and the last two products that I've been loving are actually nail polishes um, the first one is from OPI and it's actually from the Spider-Man collection and it's called Just Spotted the Lizard. Now this is the nail polish colour. It is very multi-dimensional. It has gold, blue and green. And um, if you're familiar with the Chanel Peridot nail polish, then this is actually a dupe for that. Um, I know everyone like who... like compliments me on my nail polish when, when I'm wearing this they always ask is it's the Chanel and I always tell them no it's the it's actually from API um, but I absolutely love this I actually wore this three times in a row before I um, changed to my nail polish now but I absolutely love it and the next nail polish that I've been loving is the Chanel nail color in number 533 April um, and this is what it looks like it's just this really nice berry smoothie color um, I've been loving this for like on my toes it's really nice on your your like fingernails as well I have been loving this um, Chanel nail polishes are quite expensive so um, but they're really worth it I mean they're really pigmented this nail polish I only need one coat whereas probably the OPI you can get away with one coat as well, but I prefer two just because it is very multi-dimensional. Um, but as I said, nail, Chanel nail polishes, they're so pigmented and they're nice and creamy, so you just need one coat. 
Um, so that is all the beauty products that I've been loving. Um, I do have a pair of shoes that I've been loving, so I'll show you them quickly. Um, now, these I actually bought probably a month ago, and they are these kind of like Zara heels. Um, I've been loving them, and they come in a lot of different colours. I think two other colours, um, and they're just, they have a nice heel. I don't know how high these heels are. But they're really really comfortable when you wear them they're really nice teams with trousers or shorts or even like a dress or a skirt um and i'll show you them together they look like that um and because i love them so much i decided to buy the plain black version and i actually ordered these online because i couldn't find them in store and they're just really really nice really comfortable i think they the black one especially are really classic um, and they probably go with a lot of different things so yeah that is everything that I've been loving within the last month I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll talk to you soon bye